Hey guys, how you all doing? Ali here. Okay, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some halal bacon. Now, Saffron Ali, they've sent me some goodies. Uh, Saffron Ali are a high-end halal meat food supplier. Now, I've actually done a video with them before. I'll put that in the description. That was uh, some steaks that they sent me. But in this video, they've actually sent me, like I said, some halal bacon. So they've sent me three different things here. And what I'm gonna do in this video is actually go over each thing individually. So what I'm gonna do is have each of these things throughout my day. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I shall show you how I would eat these three cuts. Okay, so I've just got up. I've done some work at my desk. I fancy coffee and breakfast. I wake up super hungry. So I'm gonna start with the breakfast beef. Let me just show you how I would eat this. Right, first meal of the day. Now, is this a breakfast or is this a breakfast? This looks awesome. So I've got some pancakes, some maple syrup, some eggs, and of course I've got the beef bacon, which I mentioned earlier as well. Super easy to prepare, guys. All I did was actually popped it in the oven. It's seasoned really, really well. It's super smoky, so I don't wanna add anything to it. I literally just popped it in the oven for 10 minutes and that's what it's come out like. So looks pretty good. I'm just gonna tuck in, guys. Now, I'll be honest, I do not eat bacon generally. Last time I had it, honestly, was in a video, my second ever video for this channel. But, you know, this looks awesome. I'm super excited to try it. This could convert me, who knows? That's actually pretty darn meaty. So when I've seen it on like TV and things like that, I always assume bacon's gonna be quite like, I don't know, quite fatty, quite like, chewy almost this is actually super meaty it's smoky but not whoops it's smoky but not too smoky that's actually pretty good now coming from someone who doesn't eat bacon that's a pretty glowing testimony i have to say because i could happily eat this whole meal and be super happy with it i like that it was easy to make as well one thing i'm quite impressed with guys is um it's much meatier than i expected i think when you see bacon on like I don't know, like TV, <laughs> like TV and things. Looks quite fatty, right? This looks pretty, pretty meaty, actually. Okay, it's been a couple of hours since breakfast, which was really, really good, really enjoyed it, but sat at my desk doing some work, hunger's building. So I think what I'll do is I'll have uh, some food now, I'll have lunch, and then I'll probably go to the gym, which uh, I won't show you guys. So I'm gonna eat and then and go to the gym and then come back and then I'll have dinner. So I've got a couple more meals to show you. And also, they've actually sent me a really cool like corn-fed chicken. Looks proper nice, so I'm looking forward to eating that as well. So that'll be towards the end of the video, so do uh, stick around for that. But I'll see you guys for that next meal in the next sort of few minutes. I just need to prepare a couple of bits and bobs for it. Okay, so lunchtime. Let me just quickly tell you what I've got. So I've made myself some burgers and some uh, some chips. I've used the turkey rashers. I put them in a brioche bun. I've got a uh, chicken breast that's been butterflied with some Nando's marinade. There's some brie in there. There's an onion ring in there. There's some romaine lettuce and some sriracha mayo. I had to remember all that. <laughs> Hey ma'am. Hey ma'am, that may be my own cooking, but that's fantastic. So the reason why I put so many ingredients in there is because I always find smoky flavors quite strong, so I like to balance them out with something else. Now, the turkey rash is actually, they're not super strong, which is, which is good for me. They smoke really well. They've got a touch of garlic in there, some decent amount of seasoning. The portion for them is actually massive. So if you're part of a big family, or if you have a gathering, or if you're like me and you just, eat a lot, <laughs> actually a very, very big portion as well. I would say the turkey rashes go really, really well with burgers, but you can have them really in anything, in wraps, in salads, whatever you like. Even this morning when I had the bacon with uh, maple syrup and pancakes and whatnot, you could replace that beef bacon with, with turkey rashes if you wanted to, but I'd say they go really, really well in burgers. Okay, that's two for two. So I've had the breakfast beef and I've had the turkey rashes, both being very delicious. So I'm gonna go now to have hopefully a good gym session train and then I'll come back and I'll have the corn fed chicken which I'm really excited for and then they've sent me a second type of beef bacon as well I'll try and combine those two and rustle something up so yeah I'm gonna head off and hopefully I'll see you guys when I've got some gains hey guys so I'm back from my training session walk three miles uh, and I had a leg session there walk three miles back so super tired I want a high protein really filling meal I think I'm gonna make the corn fed chicken sent by Saffron Alley I'm gonna add some beef bacon as well so I'm gonna make the chicken um, and then I think I'll put it in a wrap uh, with some bacon some coleslaw stuff like that um, and I'm sorry I, I can see myself in the in the camera and I just realized there's some clear weight which is actually high protein uh, I've actually done a review for those guys as well for my protein I reviewed every single flavor they have and they've just released new ones so I'm going to review them too so do check that out that's on my channel as well uh, but let's get this corn fed chicken going okay so I've got the corn fed chicken looks and smells fantastic I'm going to debone this whilst the beef bacon is making so once that's done I'll put them together in a wrap and I'll review that for you guys. 
I actually do want to add too much seasoning, too much masalas or nando sauce or the different marinades that you can get purely because as a reviewer, I want to taste uh, the chicken, the quality of the chicken. I want to review that accurately for you. I felt like if I put lots of really strong flavors, that may take away from the flavor. So it might just confuse the palate a little bit. So I kept it pretty simple, just some salt, pepper, and a couple of little chili flakes there. Okay, so I deboned the chicken, I made the beef bacon, I put it into some wraps, and I've got some tangy cheese Doritos. I'm never sure whether to get tangy cheese, whether to get original, or hot chili, I don't know. What do you guys prefer? Put it in the comments below. Um, also, before anyone says that yes, I'm wearing Power Ranger uh, PJs, and no, they don't have the best one, which is the Green Ranger, which pains me every time I see them, but there we go. You'll notice in this video, I've had three different types of meals that just give you different ways to have, have the bacon, really. In this wrap, I've got, like I said, the cornbread chicken, the beef bacon, I've got some sriracha sauce, some hot sauce, a little bit of Nando's garlic sauce, some lettuce, a little bit of cheese, some coleslaw. I've also, even though I don't like tomatoes, right, if you get cherry tomatoes, a little bit of oil, a little bit of dill, a little bit of garlic, put them like a little bit of oregano, put that in the oven for like an hour, right? They like wilt all the way down. They lose the tomato we taste, but they take on the other stuff and it's delicious. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Delicious. The bacon here, it crisps up really well if you want it crispy. If you don't, obviously just cook it sort of slightly less. The taste, I think, on the beef bacon is really good because it's actually got bits of fat. So that adds to the flavor of the fat. Really good amount of smokiness to it. Really, really good amount of seasoning. That's actually super tasty. Would I get it again? I think I would have it and I'd have it in like burgers actually and salads. I'd have it in stuff like that over a wrap, but super tasty. Oh, I can't forget the Doritos. The bacon is nice, the chicken is delicious. That is super tasty. A little tip, when you're making the chicken, you'll notice lots of sort of juice and stuff will come out. Do not waste that. Rebase the chicken, and at the end when it's done, take those juices and put them into something like your bisto or whatever gravy you're making. Add that juice in and it will make it taste amazing. Massive fan of this chicken. It's super moist, really tasty actually. Like I said, I've not had this chicken from there before, the corn fed chicken. I will definitely be getting that again. That is super tasty. Let me just finish my meal guys and I'll give you my final thoughts in a second. Hey guys, so it's been about an hour or so since I've eaten. I always like to basically sort of collect my thoughts at the end. I don't like to do a conclusion immediately. I like to just think about what my thoughts are. So, uh, like I said, second video for Saffron Alley. First video I really enjoyed. This one, I wasn't sure what to expect going into it because I'm not really a fan of smoky meats, if I'm being honest, and bacon is often quite smoky. But I was really, really surprised. I really, really enjoyed uh, all three, actually. All three of the bacon, so the turkey and the two beef bacons. I tried to show you different ways to eat them. So just different types of meal rather than just putting them on burgers. I think that's a bit basic, isn't it? So super enjoyed it. Super tasty. I should certainly be ordering... I would say I'd probably be ordering all three again because each one is, is good in its own way. The turkey rashers are fantastic for burgers. Um, the beef bacon I think is awesome actually if you want something crispy. If you want crispy bacon, I think that's probably the best one to go for actually because just crispy up it has a really good crunch to it, good amount of fat. The, bre the breakfast bacon as well was fantastic on pancakes so all super tasty. Guys if you've enjoyed this video and you want to see more like this, I actually did a Saffron Alley video, I mentioned that before but that will be in the description. I'll put that in there. Do check that out as well if you like this kind of stuff because um, I reviewed steaks for them before. Thank you guys for staying by. It means like, thank you for staying till the end as well, guys. That always always means a lot. It helps the channel out, believe it or not. Um, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day and see you soon.